Mr. Bumbledrop was walking along the road with his dog, Pom Pom the Poodle. Yes, I'm so glad you came back to me, Pom Pom. Uh, I was very lonely when the big wind came and blew you into the sky. <laughs> That's why I made Torchy and sent him up in a rocket to bring you back. Mr. Bumbledrop! Mr. Bumbledrop! What's the matter, Torchy? Is anything wrong? There's a little girl in your garden, and she's kicking the swings and stamping her feet on the grass. Oh, goodness. That sounds like bossy boots. She's always stamping her feet and bossing everyone around. But what is she doing in my garden? Well, I expect she's heard that Pom Pom's back, and she thinks the toys have come back as well. Yes, well, I'd better go and tell her that the toys haven't. If Mr. Bumbledrop doesn't find my rag doll and all the other toys, I'm going to pull out all the flowers and break the seesaw and the swing. No, 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 Bussy Boots. That's not a nice thing to say. I'm not a nice little girl. And I want Flopsy. Give her to me at once. I haven't got your rag doll. Yes, you have. You found Pom Pom the Poodle, so you must have found the other toys as well. I didn't find Pom Pom. Torchy the Battery Boy found her. Who's Torchy? Uh, he's a little toy with a battery inside him, and he can walk and talk just like a real live boy. <laughs> what a silly old man you are. Toys can't walk and talk. They're stuffed full of sawdust. Don't be so rude. I'm not full of sawdust. Oh, he's talking. Of course I'm talking, you horrid girl. Don't you call me hurried. I want my rag doll. If I don't get her, I'll take Torchy instead. You can't have me and you can't have your rag doll either. All the lost toys live on a twinkling star and they never want to come back and belong to naughty children again. The toys are much happier living on their own. Oh, what a lot of nonsense you're talking. How can toys live on their own? They're not people. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Don't answer me back. Mm. I'm going to tell my daddy of you. Yes, I'm sure she's the naughtiest girl in the world. If someone treated her the way she treated Flopsy, <laughs> she'd soon learn how to behave herself. <laughs> what a wonderful idea, Mr. Bumbledrop. I know how we can teach Bossy Boots a lesson. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go inside for tea, and you can tell me what you mean. Now then, Torchy, how can we teach Bossy Boots a lesson? I'll take her back to the Twinkling Star with me, and the toys will teach her to behave herself. Yes, well, they'll, they'll never be able to do that, I'm afraid. She's much bigger than they are. But she won't be bigger than they are on the Twinkling Star. You see, it's Topsy Turvyland, where everything's upside down, and grown-up people and children become as small as toys. Good, well, I never... <laughs> we, you'd better take her there at once. <laughs> but how can I get her in the rocket? She might not want to come with me. Uh, well, there's only one way to make Bossy Boots do something, and that's to tell her that she can't do it. Now, I'll show her the rocket and tell her she mustn't go for a ride in it. And you watch me and see what happens. What a funny-looking rocket this is. I don't like it at all. I'd be very frightened to go up in it. Well, there's no need to worry, because you're not going up in it. It's much too late, and you should go home. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, yes, I can. Now move away from that rocket, Bossy Boots. You're not going up in it. Yes, I will go up in it. I will, I will, I will. Oh, please, Mr. Bumbledrop, let me take Bossy Boots up in the rocket for a little ride. No, no, no. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, all right, then. Trying not to laugh, Torchy led the way into the rocket. 
and Mr. Bumbledrop watched them. Goodbye, Torchy. Goodbye, Mr. Bumbledrop. Torchy switched on the engine, and slowly the rocket left the ground. Higher and higher, the rocket soared into the sky. I've flown long enough now, Torchy. Turn the rocket round at once. But I want to take you to the twinkling star, and then you'll be able to find Plopsy the red doll. Look through the window, and you'll see the star now. Sure enough, there was the star shining brightly in the sky. And Bossy Boots was terribly excited to know that they were going to land on it. Will we be there soon? I want... Why, Torchy, whatever's happened to you? You've got bigger. I am not bigger. You've got smaller. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. You're the same size as I am, and that means you're a toy. I don't believe a word you're saying. Then you better wait until we get to Topsy Turvyland. You won't be able to smack Flopsy the rag doll anymore because she'll be as big as you, and she'll smack you back. The toys, of course, were fast asleep in Fruit Town. But as the day broke, they started to play in the playground. There was Pillywig the Clown, Flopsy the Rag Doll, and Squish the Space Boy with a water pistol. I wish Torchy would come back soon. I've nearly forgotten what he looks like. It's only been a week since he left us. You have got a bad memory, Flopsy. It's not my fault. It's because I haven't got enough stuffing inside me. And my head is empty. Oh! What's that noise? What noise? Oh, up in the sky! <laughs> Why, it's the rocket! Hooray! Torch is coming back. And the rocket's landed in the lollipop field. I feel so happy now that Torch is here again. Hip, hip, pickle poggle. <laughs> Well, I hope he's going to stay longer this time. <laughs> Torchy laughs at my jokes more than anyone else. <laughs> oh, i better get my biggest scrubbing brush and clean my tooth. <laughs> I want to look nice and smart for him. <laughs> and I'll go to Fruit Town and tell all the other toys that we'll have a party. And I'll go and meet Torchy. All right. See you soon. I can see Flopsy. Come on, Bossy Boots, let's go and meet her. I'm not going to meet a rag doll. I can see a tree over there with buns growing on it, and I want to pick one. But I want to wait for Flopsy. You've got to listen to me. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I'm bigger than you are, and I'll push you over. You are not bigger than me anymore, so you better stop being bossy. Oh, Torchy, I'm so pleased to see you. But who have you brought with you? I'm sure I've seen that girl before. Why? It's Bossy Boots. Go away, you piggle poggle girl. Don't you tell me to go away, you, you stuffed doll. I'll pull all your stuffing out if you're not careful. You can't do that anymore. I'm as big as you are, and I'll push you over. You won't. I will. Oh, <laughs> and I have. Oh, Torchy, Lopsy pushed me on the ground. <laughs> Serves you right. Let's leave her by herself and go back to Fruitown. We must pick some cream buns first. The toys are going to give a party for you, and we have to have some cakes. There we are. I think we've enough cream buns now. Let's take them away. You leave them there. I want to eat them all up myself. Don't be greedy. I'm not greedy. I'm hungry. Then come home and have some bread and butter. I'm not hungry for bread and butter. I'm hungry for cake. And I'm going to eat every one of them. Then you better eat this one first. <laughs> oh, what a nasty thing to do. <laughs> Serves you right for being so tickle-toggle. Come on, Torchy. Let's leave Bossy Boots by herself and go to Fruit Town. What a horrid place Topsy Turvyland is. I don't like being smaller than the toys because I can't boss them and push them over. 
I'm jolly glad you can't. So many naughty children, I don't know what to do. So many naughty children, just you and you and you. They never say please or thank you. They don't ever close a door. They scribble all over the bedroom walls and leave their clothes on the floor. What shall we do to them? Send them up to bed. If they are naughty again, then smack them hard instead. So many naughty children, lots of girls and boys who never mind their madness and never care for toys. They never wash their ears or neck, they dirty fingernails. They pull the wings of butterflies and tie cans of puppy dogs' tails. That's the most stupid song I ever heard. You've got to take me home at once. I'm not going to take you home until you've learned how to behave yourself. And I can see that's going to take a very long time. Forty, 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 Torty's a little battery boy. I'm a clever walkie-talkie toy with bright blue eyes and golden hair. I'm a magic beam that can shine anywhere. Torty, Torty, the little battery boy. Torty, Torty, the battery boy. I'm a walkie-talkie toy. Press my switch, see my bulb start to gleam. It's the most magic light you.